The DJI Mini 2, and in fact the existing Mavic Mini, will be the king of UK skies due to the new EASA regulations. Stay tuned to find out how your DJI Mini will be a rule beater, able to be flown in congested areas without the need for specific qualifications. Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeks Varna. Today we're bringing you the third video in our new UK EASA drone regulation series. The idea is to get us all ready to enjoy what will hopefully be easy access to the sky for our drones. To catch up on the other videos in this series, click the link in the description and to find out what videos are live next, hit subscribe and the notification bell. As a reminder, the UK is due to leave the EU and EASA at the end of this year 2020. However, the UK CAA has announced that they intend to adopt the new EASA regulations. Essentially think of it as mirroring the regulations with a few tweaks to make it their own. This will help in terms of future investment in the UK by the commercial drone industry who will not want to work with different rules between the EU and UK. Also please keep in mind that although the EASA regulations are due to come in from December 31st 2020 the implementation date has changed a couple of times. This isn't expected to happen again but it has been a crazy 20 so far hasn't it. We're all looking forward to the launch of the DJI Mini 2 with some impressive specs including full 4K video and OcuSync 2.0 connectivity. These retail pictures were released early on a German website showing how the final drone will be presented to the world. So let's take a look at the upcoming EASA regulations and find out why flyers of the existing Mavic Mini and soon to be proud owners of the Mini 2 will be kings of the UK drone skies. Anyone interested in the source text this is from the CAA Cap 1789. There's a link in in the description below. I'm only going to focus on the specific parts impacting the Mini and other sub 250 gram legacy drones. There'll be a wider look at other aspects of the document coming very soon. First up, and we need to look at Article 20. This part of the document discusses provisions for certain drones flown within the open category of airspace. You will remember this as the airspace mentioned in my previous videos portioned up as A1, A2 and A3. The article points out that it will take some time for manufacturers to get to grips with the new drone classifications and implement the rules into their production process. It also recognises that there will be a lot of legacy drones left flying. Now the part which really interests us today. Legacy unmanned aircraft, those that do not hold a class marking and were placed on the market before the 1st of January 2023, may be used indefinitely in the open category, if less than 250 grams within the subcategory A1 flyover people, limits listed in the part A of the annex. So this means although you will still need to get your flyer and operator ID to fly the Mini or Mini 2, you will be able to fly in congested areas and close to people without gaining any further specific qualifications indefinitely. So you could still be flying your existing Mini in this airspace in five years. Again, looking at Annex D, which is a simple chart to help flyers understand how the airspace type and drone classes will all come together, you can see that the Mini is going to be an exciting little drone, even without any form of drone class or extended qualification. Here you can see a channel marked out to show you can fly your sub 250 gram drone in the A1 category as a legacy drone, requiring registration but no further qualifications than the simple Damara scheme. Taken in conjunction with the UAS Open 020 of Annex Part A, you will see the flights may be conducted within residential, commercial, industrial and recreational areas. It also notes that there is no official separation from uninvolved people, flyers are reminded to act in a safe and responsible manner. As a very serious caveat to all of this, please remember that you still need to stick to the rules. This just allows flight in certain airspace generally. No fly zones, controlled airspace and other rules still apply to the Mavic Mini and Mini 2. Also, the CAA are expected to raise amendments to the rules to ensure you do not deliberately fly over people etc, which will update you on as soon as released. So, there you have it. The DJI Mavic Mini and Mini 2 will be the kings of the drone for UK skies for flyers who are looking to keep their hobby simple and qualification light. Remember this isn't a legacy period limited thing. The access to the airspace will be indefinite. I hope you've enjoyed our third video in the UK EASA regulations. Remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell to find out more about upcoming videos. Subject matters to be covered include drone classes and FPV. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, you're still here. I tell you what, while you're here, I'll, I'll tell you a joke, shall I? So, I encountered a video on YouTube 
that said how to stop procrastinating. I thought, how handy is that? So I saved it for later. Boom, boom, See you next time.